this has a scent on it, and I'm gonna put this here, okay? And then the one with no scent, I'm gonna put next to it. So to start out, we make the picture real easy for the dog to see. There's only two choices, and when he gets to the right one, we're gonna mark that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss a treat onto that object when he gets to the right one. So now he's on a long line. Put your cheese away, though, because you don't want him seeing that right now. So now let him set, tell him to find his. Where is find it? it. Yes, right? So I say yes, and I throw a treat right next to it. And when he looks at it, yes, and the treat goes right next to it. Yes, so every time he looks at that, something positive happens in his mind. Yes, right? Now take him away. So you come? Come? Yeah, which you, so what I don't want to do is make obedience on it. I just want to kind of pull him away and take him off the prong on this. So there's no real correction. There's no aversion. The scent always goes back. Call him back. Just bring him back to you. Don't call him. Bring him. Good boy, right? And that's it's. you're always going to bring him back with a positive. Like, yeah, that's what I wanted. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. If you start calling him off of it, it's going to confuse him, right? So in the foundation of this, you'll see in the other videos, what we do is we put the, the target, the odor, in a position. And then we walk the dog by. Now you'll be able to see this in the other videos, but he kind of just goes by here, right? So watch his eyes. Find it. Yes, right there, right? So the minute he gets to it, he gets that mark. And this rehearsing is over and over with him. Find it. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say down. Good. And I'm gonna, ah, 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 ah. I don't wanna get hard on him for corrections here because down, down. Because I want him to be a little naughty. Here he's gotta push through things, right? So I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do it real close with another one. Find it. He's standing over it, right? He's showing, yeah. So he's naturally starting to get to that down. Find it. Yes. Right, so now he's actually convinced this is it. Good. Yes. Because I'm, I'm really tricking him here. Like I'm saying, down. Okay, we know that's it. He told me this is it. But I'm gonna mess with his head. That's what I want, right? So let's make it super hard today, right? Let's take it up a, a big, big level with him. Take, call him away, say, good boy. So this is a good boy, good boy, Ziggy. Yeah. Right, good. Down. So I'm gonna down him there to teach him, this is when you gotta be good, yes. So the more he smells that, he's gonna get a scent. He's gonna put his nose on in a second. There's a big drift coming by. There's a wind coming by. So he's smelling everything from over there coming here now. Yes. You gotta have good aim. Yes. So now three different times he got that. Good boy, Ziggy, good boy, yeah. Now if I say, go find it. Yes, see he's putting his paw on it. So now he's getting his confidence, right? And that's kind of what we wanna see him get. All right, so when we wanna introduce the scent, the target scent, like for example, this time we're gonna use, this could be oregano or it could be marijuana. It could be, it could be either one. I'm not gonna say which one it is, but it's a strong scent. What I wanna do is I wanna cocktail it. I wanna add it to a scent he already knows. Okay. So for now, we're hypothetically saying this is just cheese, right? So it's a food reward. We can do it with um, tug toys, anything like that. But since that's got a scent of cheese on it, what I'm gonna do, and I can do this with my hands, because this is a clear scent he knows. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to add another scent to that. And that scent is going to be this. And all I need to do, because the dog's nose is so powerful, a tiny, tiny bit of this is going to go a long way. What most people make the mistake with scent training is they over scent it, right? You put like, keep rubbing it, rubbing it. When you over scent something, what happens is that scent then drifts onto another target. Now, the biggest problem here is not touching the other with the same hand because you're going to carry that scent onto there. So that's where your tongs come in, right? So what I'm going to do now, and we're going to, we're going to really pull this together in the end of the lesson, you'll see how this works.
So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. That has a scent, that has no scent. And we're starting right back to the basics. Right here. Can you find it? Yes. 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 So I don't want him looking to me. So when I say yes, he's looking to me. The problem with that is he's looking to me for reward. He's got to stay on the, on the target. Yes. Now the scent is even stronger because now there's two things on there and the oregano or, or marijuana would have a, a high, high, high degree of scent more so than just the cheese. Yes. See how he's digging at it more? Okay, pull him away. Good boy, see. You gotta be really important in the beginning of this because you want to be sure that you're marking the yes and this treat hitting that target at the exact time when he goes. So for example, if I was the dog, I would go here, 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 and then I would go this way, and I would have this, I would be focused and locked, and that would be when I'd mark it. I don't want to mark it when he's just kind of drifting. I want him to go, what, 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 what's different about this? Yes. That's the moment he sees it, and it's hard for you to see from the back, right? Any of this stuff is hard to mark from the back, right? So now he's clearly seeing if you're liking this video, hit the subscribe button and click the bell. You'll be notified of all the new videos coming up on my YouTube channel. See what he's doing? Yeah, <laughs> good boy, Zygmunt. Good boy. Like he's saying, you know what? I'm not even gonna go anywhere else, right? I'm not going nowhere else. Find it. Find it. Yes. And all he's got to do is look at it. And there's two kinds of alert. There's what's called a passive alert and an active alert. So passive alert, he lies down in front of it and looks at it. That's a passive alert. That's going to be used more for explosive and accelerants because we don't want the dog digging at it. With, with drugs um, or peanut butter or whatever else you'd want to teach this dog, bed bugs, he can dig at it. He can say, it's right here. It's right here. He can keep digging and digging and digging at it. And that makes a big difference. And a bomb, he does that, he dies. And we all die. With drugs, he's just saying, hey, it's right here. It's a very, and he's doing more of a passive alert. So it shows his tendency is more towards that. And sometimes, yes, that's what we want to see. So that's a super fun game to teach your dog scent detection and it's uh, nose work. I think nose work is, a, is an AKC event and it's basically getting your dog to use his nose. It's something you can do from a young puppy to an old, old, old dog. They always have that sense of smell. It's a fun game. It's a fun activity. It keeps their minds busy and it keeps them engaged with you because he's looking to you. Is this it? Is this it? Is that it? That makes it fun. You want your dog to have fun every single day. And learning through fun is the most exciting way to teach your dog anything. Have fun training your dog, and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to see the rest of this video and hundreds more, check out my channel at robertcabral.com and sign up today.